hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another tutorial today we are going to be talking about the database so now that we've learned about events maps and all that other stuff we're going to talk about the other major part of rpg maker mz or all the rpg makers and that is your database your database is where you define all your different elements for your game for example you have your actors your classes your skills items weapons armors enemies troops states animation and so forth right so actors are pretty much all the characters that you control all the player characters in the game so people that can join your party and the main character itself right classes is where you define all the classes that all the actors will be using um so for example you could have an actor called henry and he could have a class called warrior right um for my game i use the classes for races and i use the actors for regular actors so you could you don't have to make them you could pretty much make them whatever you want to skills is where you define all your skills so skills that your actors as well as your enemies will be using um to do battle in the game depending on which battle system you're using items are all the different items that you can use in the game your actors your enemies weapons are mainly for are just for actors um it determines all the weapons you'll be able to use in the game armor is the same with weapons enemies are all the enemies that will show up in your game and again keep in mind we're gonna go through over all these menus i'm just gonna give you a brief rundown of all the systems then we're gonna dive deep right um troops is pretty much all of the troops that you will have in your game so how the game works with the default battle system is you have your enemies right so you have your enemies and you can make all your different types of single enemies but then you could group those enemies together like for example I can just have a rabbit in here if I can say so yeah, I could just have a rabbit in here you're not actually gonna see it because I need to have a graphic over here for my rabbit so let's go back over here so right you could have your rabbit but then you could also add other enemies to this troop so that way you could battle with different enemies of course you can only just have one enemy in a troop it's 100% up to you state are all the different states that your actors and your enemies can be in right so they could be dead they could be poisoned they could be burnt they can have some buffs like uh, heavenly shield they can uh so pretty much a whole bunch of status um, elements so for example poison burn freeze and all those other stuff like that animation determines all the animation in the game that shows when you either do the show animation when you do your inventing on the second page right here you can show an animation on the player or an event animations are also used for your skills to determine what actually what the skill will look like when you use it right so different skills will play different animations during the battle uh, animations can also be used on the items to show an animation that represents that item being used so animations they're pretty powerful you just make animations and they like that right let me turn down my volume sorry tile sets we kind of talked about tile, tile sets when we were talking about the map but this is where you make all your different tile sets so this is where you come in and kind of piece all the little parts of your map together to make a unique tile set or actually that's not right and stuff like that so we're actually gonna clear this common events common events are where you come and define your common events and common events in rpg maker is pretty much like uh i don't know if you guys program but they're like function calls right so pretty much within any event oh next video we're talking about common events so i'm just gonna skip that for now so these are where you det um, define your common events system one and two are so this is where you come in and decide what your starting party is the game um the title of your game what the vehicles that you have in the game will look like here you could also do the starting positions um of your player boats and all those other stuff but normally i just right click do starting position and then i pick where i want the item to start in right so this controls a whole bunch of stuff in your game like the different type of battle system you could use and you know 
a whole bunch of other cool stuff. System 2, the same thing. This determines your screen resolution, your game ID, and a whole bunch of other little stuff like your fonts and stuff like that. The menus, um, the add things you can have access to in the menu, like the items, or if you want to disable save permanently, and all these other cool stuff. The tile size that you are using. Types will go back into the database things, right? So, types is pretty much where you define all the different types in your game. So, like elements, skill types, weapon types, armor types, and equipment types. So, for example, the elements are pretty much fire, wind, and all the different elements that you might have in your game. Skill types are the different types of magic you can have in your game. Like, for example, you can have regular magic. Or you could call it like nature magic or you could call it like this like a special so like it'll be like um, physical attack related skills and stuff like that so for me personally I just use magic as special magic being magical stuff and special being just regular things you use with your regular weapon that's not magic weapon types is where you determine your different weapon types like do you have swords bows and guns in your game or do you just have like daggers or something like that armor types the same determine your different armors equipment type oh, actually armor type determine your different equipment types so you could have like leather armor light armor heavy armor and stuff like that me personally i just have general armor for all the armors and then magic armor for just ropes and stuff like that weapon type i mean equipment types is where you determine what types of equipment your character can actually equip right so you can have whipping all the way to whatever you want. You can make it like a um, cape. I think I have that already. So you can have a cape. So that way, you see where it says initial equipment. So everything you name over there will appear here. So if you can check right here where it says ring, ring, right? You go to your actor. You see, they can equip the ring and the ring. And when you make your armor, right you get to pick which equipment type it is and you could pick if it's a left ring or a right ring right or you know the, the ring rings but besides that those are all your different types terms are the different terms you can have in your game what do you want those things to be called like level you could make it be power hp you could make it say help uh, so pretty much all the different little terms that you see in the game um you could change them here and all the different little um, things that are said in the game, you could change them here. Like for example, this is what happens when you find a when you find gold. It says this message, but you could change it to something different, right? Um, that's pretty much it for the database. The next few tutorials, we're pretty much going to just spend all our time in the database, um, explaining all the different features and things you can do with all the different little stuff in the database guys stay tuned we are getting into exciting stuff later plugins and all those other cool stuff hey peace